Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new DJI Osmo Action 4. I've already done a full review of it and I will link that down below in the description of this video. Now again, this is just an unboxing video, so if you want to learn how to use this camera, I'll also be making a complete beginner's guide going over everything in great detail. Again, once that is available, I will link it in the description of this video. Now, when it comes to the Action 4, there are going to be several packages available. This one here in particular is the Adventure Combo. So that means it comes with the extension rod, three batteries, the battery case, and a few other parts inside. And we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Now, one of the big new features of the Action 4 is its new sensor. It now has a one over 1.3 inch sensor. So that's really going to improve low light capabilities in difficult lighting situations. So it's actually something I'm pretty excited about. And of course it has a lot of other great features. 10-bit D-Log M. So if you're a person who wants to grade your footage, you can get some really stunning results. The batteries are deep freeze resistant. That means you can record reliably all the way down to negative 20 degrees Celsius. You can shoot up to 4K at 120 frames per second with 155 degree field of view. Of course it has their incredible quick release system, the magnetic quick release system, which I really, really like. Several different stabilization modes, including a 360 degree stabilization mode. It's waterproof down to 18 meters and it has a dual touch screen. Of course, there are many other great features of it and I'll have covered that in my review. So let's go ahead here, we'll take a quick look at it. We'll see what all comes inside the box. You can see when we open the box here, we have two packages. We have the Action 4 itself in one side. We have an accessory package and down there at the very bottom, I don't know if you can see that, but the extension rod is down there at the bottom. This is your first action camera. It's a good idea to pick up an extension rod. Uh, they are quite useful, especially if you want to get some nice wide shots of yourself doing various activities. As you can see, it pulls out. I believe it's a 1.5 meter extension pole. At the bottom we have a quarter 20, so you can connect it to a tripod as well. So very nice, branded with DJI Action. I'll just set that aside here. Let's take a look at the accessory box first. The first thing we have here is a USB-C to USB-C cable. This is how we charge it. We have a magnetic mount here. Their DJI's magnetic mounting system is absolutely brilliant. Here we have our battery charging case. And I really like what DJI has done here. First of all, it's just a great way to charge up your batteries. You can see we have three batteries in there, USB-C on the side for charging. At the very top, it's maybe hard to see, but there's a spot for memory cards, so you can store some extra memory cards up there in the top. But this is great just because it offers you a nice case to store your batteries in, and that way they're not floating around loose in your camera bag. And it's also a great way to charge them up on the go. You can plug this into a power bank, throw the whole kit right into your camera bag or backpack, and charge while you're hiking into a location. So it's a really nice touch. Now this is a lens hood. I'm not 100% sure what that's for. We will find out. And lastly, in the accessory box, we have a quick start guide and some other information. If you want the full user manual, it is available on the DJI website. Now let's get into the camera, which is on this side here. You can see we have some more accessories here. The first thing we have here is the frame. Now this isn't necessarily needed when using the DJI Action 4. These magnetic mounts will connect to the Action 4 directly. It's fully open there, so you can still use the magnetic mount at the bottom, but it also gives you the option of mounting the camera vertically. As you can see, the magnetic mount will clip right to the side, so that way you can mount your Action 4 vertically if you're capturing content for social media. Here we have a second magnetic mount, and this one is a little bit different. As you can see, it's just slightly smaller. The fingers on it are a little bit smaller. And it's good to have several of these, and I usually recommend to buy extras, because what you can do is mount these on all your accessories, different grips and handles and mounts, and that way you can move your Osmo Action quite easily. Here we have two thumb screws. Here we have a sticky mount. As you can see, it has a curved surface, so this is good for helmets or anything that has a slightly curved surface. And lastly, we have the Action 4 itself, as you can see here. So as mentioned, these magnetic mounts will clip right to the bottom. Even if you mount your Action 4 into the frame, you can still clip the magnetic mount to the bottom. Or as mentioned, to the side if you want to mount it vertically. Now the other thing I have here is a set of ND filters. These are right from DJI, the official ones. These are definitely good to pick up for filming in certain scenarios. And as you can see, we have a nice case. 
and then we have the ND filters inside there. The ND filter kit comes with an ND8, ND16, and ND32. And you can see with these ND filters, they just pop on over top. Now at this point, if you're brand new and you're just going to be purchasing one, the camera itself has to be activated and there's going to be firmware that needs to be updated. What you'll have to do is download the DJI MIMO app. On an iPhone you can get it from the App Store and on Android I do believe you have to download it directly from DJI.com. All you have to do then is connect the camera to the app. It's going to go ahead and activate it for you and it will then prompt you to download the updated firmware. So yeah, folks, that is the new DJI Osmo Action 4. If this is a camera you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned to my channel, as I will be covering it a lot over the coming weeks. As mentioned, I will be creating a beginner's guide for it, and that's going to be geared to those who have never used one. It's going to be very thorough and very detailed. Of course, I'll also have some tips and tricks videos and different videos to help you get the most out of your new action camera. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.